Hey David, it's Viola, how are you doing? Um, I wanted to quickly go through your website here, go through a couple of your competitors, and then just talk about a couple of things that we can help you with, right? So I noticed that, okay, you got the information here, and then that's it, right? Okay, so Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on the home page, and that's for two reasons. The first reason is because Google has crawlers, right? So they're crawling the content because they're trying to figure out what areas you serve and what services you offer. The more content you have on here, the more you're going to look like an expert in their eyes. And in addition to that, the more you're going to be able to outrank your competitors. So if your competitors had about 1,000 words on here, then you want to have at least 1,500. And in that content, you want to have specific keywords that you're trying to be that you're trying to be found for that someone's looking for so for example if you had roof repair Buford Georgia in here a bunch of times on just one page right um, Google's gonna be willing to put you higher up in the SERPs in the search results so that more people will be able to find you so for example roofing in Buford Georgia when somebody types that in on Google the first thing we see are the Google paid ads right or the Google guaranteed ads then we have the Google organic ads then we have more Google ads but then you have this organic section right here which is what we like to call the map pack right and Google bases this off of a 15 to 30 mile radius based off of your location the challenge is that if we click on this we're probably going to find about 10 other pages of other businesses that are doing the same exact thing you're doing in the same area but these top three are getting the bulk of the business and the reason being is because they have the more citations and all a citation is is simply your business name address and phone number listed throughout different directories across the world wide web such as Yex, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Angie's List. I mean, you name it. There are thousands of different directories that you could get your business listed inside of. But the, the more directories that you have, the more citations you have. So, for example, if we found out that Universal Roofing and Construction has about 230 50 citations, then you want to have at least 350. So you know you're outranking them month after month after month, right? Okay, and then David down here, this is the organic section. I don't really care about Angie's List, but this company right here looks like they're a local contractor in the area that you're in doing the same thing. So actually, I went ahead and pulled them up already. Um, this is their business. And as you can see, their website is not, you know, it's not outstanding. But again, it's the it, the the Google crawlers are robots, so they're crawling it, and they don't care what it looks like. They care about the information behind it. But you notice it's not it's not confusing what we were looking for versus where we landed. Right? We were looking for roofing in Buford, and this tells us roofing contractor in Buford. So Google's going to see them as a um, as a authentic site or uh, not authentic, an authoritative site um, to put them higher up in the search results for that reason. So content looks like they have about, I would say probably about a thousand words of content on here. So if you do about 1500 to 2000 on your page, you should be able to outrank them when it comes to content. But the other thing that's powering up their website is something called a backlink. So I'm gonna hop over to this tool that I use called Era. So it just lets me see what's going on on the back end of a website. Um, this is that company here. First thing you see is a UR, and this is essentially a power flow from Google, and the DR is a trust flow. And both of these numbers are increased by something called a backlink. And all a backlink simply is, is an endorsement from another company or another website. And that website has a clickable link on it. And when somebody clicks on it it passes over trust and it passes over power but obviously this is something I could click into and see what's working for them and how it could work for you but I really want to get in front of these keywords because this is what's gonna help make the difference in regards to how the ranking is on your site so Roofing in Buford, Georgia. This is telling us that 70 people look for that particular keyword on a monthly basis. This company is in the number three position and they get 10 calls per month just for that one keyword, right? Then you have roof repair Buford, Georgia. You got, um, they're in a number five position for that and they get five calls per month and 40 people look for that keyword per month. So imagine if they were up in number two or three and the list goes on and on. And this is specifically just in Buford, right? So, so obviously the more areas that you service and the more services, because I noticed you have a ton of different services as well, 
I would suggest that you separate these out onto different pages because the the clarity of the different pages to Google is what's going to help you be able to get ranked higher up in the search results. So have a different page for each one of these services. And then if you're servicing a lot of different areas, there's a way to do that as well, too. So it's not confusing if somebody is in um, Lawrenceville and, and you're servicing Buford and Loganville, you know, it, it, there's a way to do all of that. And I would suggest for starters, definitely separate this page. And the last thing I want to show you is your business in the same tool. And this is pretty normal, right? This is normal for a company who hasn't had a whole lot of marketing representation. Um, but again, the three things that you have to do are pretty much to get the right content onto this page um, or just get the right content onto your website, get the right citations going towards the site and also getting some backlinks to help power it up. Okay, and last but not least, I know I keep saying last but not least, but when you're saving these, uh, when you're adding these photos, save them as the keywords that you want to be found for, because this is what the robot sees when they crawl your site, right? So that's all I have for you, David. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I hope you found it pretty helpful. I'll talk to you soon.